See these pigs? Well, they're going to end up on your plate, amongst other things, sausages. All around North Norfolk, you can see pigs running free in fields. It's important that a pig leaves a happy, safe life, not just because it's the right thing to do, but a healthier pig is a tastier pig. Pigs will eat anything. They're really not fussy. Put a pig on a field that has had crops grown in past years, and they'll eat up all the vegetation left behind. This helps clean the soil from any pests or diseases that might have been left by the crops. They also are fed a well-balanced feed containing all the nutrients they need. And as they eat away, they are pooing all the time, adding nutrients back into the soil. A few years ago, the whole country's pig population was under threat from foot and mouth, one of the diseases pigs mustn't catch. Like some other diseases, if the animal has got it, then the meat can't be eaten and has to be destroyed. So keeping disease away from animals is not only vital for them, but also for the farmer. The animal has to be disease free to be sold for meat. OK, the next bit in the story I'm not going to show you. I'll just tell you that around nine months old, the pigs are taken away to an abattoir to be slaughtered. So we move on our story to what happens next. I've come to Icarus Hines Butchers in Cromer to see how our pig is turned into sausages. Come on, let's meet Icarus. Hello, I'm Icarus Hines and I'm going to tell you where your best bangers come from. We're in the fridge and we've just had a, another pig delivered. Here we have our side of pork, there's two sides. Uh, these are outdoor Norfolk pigs and they're a special grade, they're called gilts, which is female pigs. This part is called the loin, it's where your pork chops come from. This is the belly, that's where belly pork comes from. Here's his leg of pork, or his bum. Down this end is the shoulder, which is the front of the pig. Virtually all of this will get used. We don't get any waste for the pig, so they're very good. Just to tell you a little bit about the journey that this has taken before it gets to my butcher's shop, so they go to the slaughterhouse locally here in Norfolk. They're very well looked after. They go into the lairage where they're settled down, kept nice and calm. When it's their time, they get taken to a pen and they're stunned. They're then bolted as a procedure, which is a humane way of, of killing the animal. They're cleaned down, the fur or the outside hide is all removed. They're washed internally. So when I get them, there's no blood or mess. It's all just clean meat, uh, ready for me to, to do what I need to do, which is the butchery side of it. Yes, the animals are here because we use them for food consumption. If we didn't eat meat, we wouldn't see them in the fields, would we? OK, today we're making free-range pork sausages. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you some of the pork trim in this bowl here. It's all been cut up, ready for the sausages. It's all chopped up and mixed. In this bowl here, we have our seasoning and water. That's going to be mixed with the pork and then flavoured. If you come and have a look in this bowl here, we've got some minced pork already. Now we're going to mix to this the seasoning and water. So if I ask Dean, Dean, would you mind just mixing that in there for us? The rusk is a cereal-based uh, product which we mix with sausages. It's been used for years. And the thing about rusk is it helps keep all the, more, the pork sort of nice and pull it together and make a nice texture for the sausage. So it's like a, it holds and stabilizes the sausage. We have pork, we have rusk, we have some water, and we have some seasoning. Now in the seasoning, we've got salt, pepper, a little bit of coloring, um, and some herbs and spices. Now, here's our length of sausage. It's all been filled. Now this is actually made from a pig's intestine, all right? It's a huge, long intestine, and it's all washed and cleaned out properly. That's what you call recycling, isn't it? Using a pig's intestine to put the sausage in. Nowadays, there's also other types of skins which are synthetic, but this is the original, the original way to do it. And we make these sausages all day, every day, because they're very popular. So Icarus, as we're here, Tell us about burgers. Our beefsteak burgers are made from 100% local Norfolk beef. 
It's quite a simple process really. We mince this twice and then we mix um, a small amount of seasoning and a little bit of binder in it and it's also got a little bit of preservative in it. We've got a little bit of dried onion in there as well to lift the, lift the flavour a little bit. But we don't put too much seasoning in our burgers because we like tasting beef and not something that's been added. They're exactly what it says, 100% Norfolk beef and that's what people want. That was really interesting. I don't know about you, but I'm really hungry. Next time you're eating a sausage or burger, just give some thought to how it got there. Our farmers in Norfolk lovingly care for their animals. And as animals live in the fields, their poo is so important to the nitrogen cycle of the land. A mix of plants and animals work well together here in North Norfolk, providing a balanced mix to the environment. Thank you.